Hello, Gemini. This is G1 Writer here with G1 Insights. I am here today to provide you with your career, life, and love overall focus for the month of October 2018. It is officially harvest season, okay? Happy Halloween to those of you that celebrate. I got my little pumpkin patch over here. (laughs) So this is going to be one amazing season for you, Gemini. So much beautiful energy, so much powerful energy, okay? My goodness, it's so beautiful, okay? So, Gemini, let's get into it because I don't want to take up any more of your time, okay? Now, <laughs> literally, okay, the very first card that came out for you was romance. How interesting is that? Now, interestingly, you know, even though I was asking for love, I was also asking about your career and, you know, general life things that could be possibly going on. And this is what is going on. Ta da! <laughs> the door to romance, or this could be just simply the door to love. It's open. Love. Cupid then shot you, got a piece of your heart. And oh my God, are you feeling so in love? And for some of you, this is, you know, falling back in love with yourself, falling in love with a new spouse, getting to know someone, feeling really excited about a new relationship. This could even be like a new tender love that just entered your life. So it doesn't necessarily have to be romance. It could just be love in general, something that is overwhelming you with joy something that just feels good okay and it has a lot to do with love so you are being blessed with having the door of romance open unto you my love okay the other thing is this you also have the world card which represents your resources in the world okay your foundation and things that you need guidance and you know clarity things that you need to come to you in due time and the thing is this is good that you got this because you know what you also got your seventh chakra my love your seventh chakra is your crown chakra is literally at the top of your head right here where this is right that's why you see the crown and it's all lit up in purple and pretty so this is your crown chakra my love and it came out in reverse and what that means is that your intuition could literally be declining okay or somehow your intuition is blocked okay why is your intuition blocked why is that what's going on with you these days so this is literally like either you're blocking your own intuition or a situation is causing you causing your intuition to be blocked okay and This could be, you know, the potential help or power from the spiritual world as well. So, but this can even be perhaps, you know, you fear opening up to a side of your life or maybe you're afraid that once this new budding romance or love situation comes into the world that maybe you feel like you'll lose yourself. I mean, I don't know. What is it? You know, what are you afraid of? Perhaps it's just something that seems foreign or unrealistic. I feel like a situation is going to occur or it may have already occurred where you will be feeling or have now or maybe now you're feeling this way where it just still doesn't seem real to you. Did you just get married? Did you just get engaged? You know, are you pregnant? Did you just have a baby? You know, it's like so many different things here, so much news and good information. And it's like a lot of you just don't know what to do with all of this good stuff. A lot of you just don't know. You're like, oh, my God, I can't believe this is even happening for me. You know, and it's it's like you're in disbelief, but you got to follow your gut. Honey, don't give up so easily. Don't be, you know, dismissive with this type of energy. And like I said, my love, this card came out in reverse. So it tells me that your energy is blocked to something, my love. Either way, it's time to awaken to the beauty and power of this realm, my love. See your crown chakra spinning in a beautiful violet white light, just like this young, beautiful queen right here, which is our Archangel Uriel, okay? Uriel's passion and power to help bring this connection into being. Call upon Archangel Uriel to help you, my love. 
Once you're open to the incredible peace and power that spirit can bring, your life will never be the same. I promise you. It is very imperative that you reconnect, that you reconnect with your intuition, with divine source, with your spirituality, that you dig a little deeper into your subconscious, okay? It's time to reconnect. It's time to believe in life again. It's time to check out your belief system. So again, you are being blessed with tons of resources, my love. Tons of resources in the world, your foundation. Okay, speaking of foundation, let's get to the money, honey. Woo! It's a lot of money here on the table. Okay, and I'm only saying that because you got a lot of masculine energy here, my love. I mean, you got the king of forces, the king of keys. I mean, you got a lot of masculine energy here. And not to mention, you also got the seven of forces, which is, you know, a card that your sister sign Aquarius have gotten, but they got it in upright position. You actually got it in reverse, which tells me that you need to recenter yourself recenter yourself this is to reconnect focus on getting that balance back into your world my love because therefore you will not be feeling so stuck or unsure or uncertain okay the more you focus on healing yourself internally you will feel so much better i promise okay now the king of forces is someone who possibly work in science um or some type of um I don't know maybe something dealing with technology or um computers electronics you know um if you have an interest or if you're dealing with someone that work in e either one of these fields maybe the medical field or a scientific field either way this person or th if this is not your energy then this may be your spouse someone you're dating or currently seeing or this may be an individual that may be coming into your life, okay? So if you are looking for romance, you may find this person at work, through education, maybe through school, maybe while you're studying something, maybe while you're at the library. Um, this person is very intuitive as well, okay? Very intuitive energy. And this person can definitely help guide you back to yourself, okay? This is a lot of beautiful, strong, tense energy here. This is very masculine, very strong, very educated. This person has makes a lot of good money, okay? So you will be either offered a really good position with all this masculine energy being here. This is definitely either you. This is not a field of science or um, technology or electronics, perhaps. Then for a lot of you, this is about... Um, this could be counseling, this could be education, this could be something dealing with helping people, um, being an advocate, and I'm not surprised because you get this energy all the time, so it doesn't surprise me that you guys got this at all, like it doesn't really surprise me, okay? Either way, you know, even if you look at this king, you know, this person is happy, he travels a lot, so this could be a Sagittarius, this could be... Um, well, actually, I feel like it's more of an earth sign, okay, but this person is confident and probably even sometimes overly focused on work or career, although they can be very thoughtful and helpful for you in your business or financial matters, this person is often more goal-oriented than people-oriented, so keep this in mind, especially if this is a love interest. Keep this in mind. You know, the the one thing I see people do is that they see these people for who they are and then they get with them thinking that they can change them, okay? If you're going to be with this person, you need to know that they are all about their money, honey. There is nothing coming between them but money, okay? Like, they, they're not about to do anything that does not involve money. <laughs> so, if you're going to be with this particular individual, I don't know who I'm talking to, but some of you are dealing with an individual that is very educated, all about their money. Um, and I feel like this is either a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo, okay? So, I don't know who I'm talking to. And then for some of you, this could even be a water sign, maybe. Hmm, let's see. I don't know, but I feel like, you know, it's definitely... You know, either you or a man that you may be dealing with will receive some type of increase in your finances or 
a promotion from your job or something related to that, okay? Or if you're dating a Gemini, then you can rest assured knowing that their finances is about to take off, okay? So either way, you know, be on the lookout for some type of major promotion or some type of increase in income or some type of career achievement, okay? But definitely some type of career in finance, real estate, businesses are typical for one of these kings. I think either, well, I think it's the king of keys, you know, it sounds more like they're you know, because they, they focus a lot on management. They like to control and be the boss. So this is why I feel like this is a lot of earth energy here, okay? Yes, yes, yes. This may also be a good time for self-employment or business aspirations, um, expansion. So even with the world card, it doesn't surprise me that all of this energy came out because, like I said, with the world card, this is all about your shared resources, this is all about you expanding your horizon, expanding your mind, being more open-minded, okay? So that is pretty much your overall energy. Even when it comes to your finances, when it comes to love, you want to remain as open and receptive as possible, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I need some water. Now, when we talk about the king of forces, you know, the king of forces is, like I said, is definitely someone who is equally educated and very very smart very funny very sexy you know oh my god okay sorry guys i thought i heard something so this is definitely a man that represents a lot of powerful and positive energy so this is somebody who has a lot of good intentions you know they they want to do the right thing they want to stand up for what's right you know this is a man of honor, okay? Very gentle. Um, if you don't really quite know this person, you are about to meet this person, okay? By the second or third week of October, you would have met this person, and you will be highly intrigued, okay, if you not have already met this individual, okay? You will be highly turned on as well. If you don't know him, trust me, he is coming, okay? Um, the good thing is, I think you will enjoy the intellectual conversations with this individual, okay? Because this is definitely someone who can bring a lot of support for a special project, a work issue, or just your life in general. I mean, shoot, we all can really use, like, a really good male friend that would sit and listen to us babble, especially us women, right? Like, we, we can use that. <laughs> we can use a really good, genuine friend that is intellectual with a good sense of humor that can make us laugh. So, you know, he may also be a possible love interest. So this is not a friend or a co-worker or a supervisor or a boss or someone you go to school with. Then this can definitely be a love interest, okay? Like I said, this is a man of honor. So make sure you engage in honoring yourself, protecting your deity, protecting, you know, the way you carry yourself, the way you look, the way you dress, the way you walk, the way you talk. Pay attention because this is a man who he's observing you, okay? He's like, Yeah, she's cool, you know. Um, you know, especially if you're a Gemini woman, I'm sorry. So, you know, he's probably like, Yeah, you know, she's cool, she's really down to earth, but she's kind of sloppy with it, you know. So be very careful not to be the Gemini that is too flirtatious, or be cautious not to be too um, outward with your dressing, okay, because this person is observing you, and even if they want you, it's a possibility they may not want you, they see that you're being too worldly-like, okay, now this one, on the other hand, like I said, guys, this could be your own energy, maybe you're feeling like this about another person, maybe you're like, you know what, this person is cool, I really like them, but you know what, their energy is horrible, Okay, or I don't like the way they carry themselves in public. Like they may be having these thoughts about you or you may be having these thoughts about them. Either way, it's a lot of romance on the table and definitely a lot of money. So somebody is definitely getting some type of promotion or some type of reward for their hard work and some type of recognition, my love. Okay, but this is very, very good. Very good stuff here, okay? Like I said, you are being challenged, Gemini, to recenter yourself, refocus. Um, 
reactivate your seventh chakra, okay? That is what you are being guided to do, my love. Now, like I said, you may pay attention, need to pay attention to technology or you may be studying technology, um, computers, anything in nature. This person is interested in that, okay? So whether you are male or female, you know, this can all this energy can also reveal an important side of yourself, okay? It can reveal a very important side of yourself. So like I said, even with the seven chakras, like you guys are afraid of revealing something, okay? Revealing a certain side of to yourself or maybe afraid of going into the deep subconscious, finding out something about yourself, okay? And yet with all this masculine energy, that's exactly what it could be as well. No matter if you're a guy or a woman, okay? This reveals an important side of yourself. So feel the balance and beauty of nature and know the powerful forces are always moving within and around you, okay? So as I said before, you guys got balance, my love. It's all about that balance for you this season. All about it, okay? Now, I wanted to talk to you guys about love because love looks really interesting to me this season for you. Um, you guys got to keep an open mind, but you also got to pay attention to red flags, okay? The signs are cautioning you, my love. If you feel a need to make some changes, if you feel like, you know, you're tired of living the same way, or you may just, for some of you, you may just be simply tired of dealing with a particular individual. You may feel like you just want to just give up and just walk away, okay? So, but for some of you, you need to pay attention to old habits, things that have held you back. It's time to release that energy, my love, okay? Recenter yourself, even in love. What do you really desire? What do you really want from him? What do you really want from her? Speak your truth. Now, for a lot of you, you know, you have to keep an open mind because the universe is saying your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So, as I said before, the door to romance is open, my love. That was your very first card that came out. And the fact that I have all this different masculine energy, for some of you, Gemini women, you may be dealing with two different guys or maybe dating two different men. One may be more emotional and more emotionally developed the other one may be so distant and focus on their money and you may feel like okay well do i want emotion or do i want a man with money i mean he has money too but he can maybe sometimes be too emotional <coughs> well maybe you're emotional right maybe you're dealing with a woman that's too emotional and maybe you're dealing with a woman who is about her business, want good credit, trying to build a home and want to get married one day. And maybe that is what you are looking forward to because you like the stability, you like the intellectual conversations, but you also love the fact that this person is not afraid to get in touch with their emotions. So a lot of you do have some decisions to make even when it comes to love. Like I said, the door to romance is open, but you got to have an open mind, my love. You got to keep an open mind. Because your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations, okay? Now, when it comes to love as well, take time to forgive and learn from your experience. Forgive people, time to move on, it's time to, like I said, to recenter yourself, to get back to what you first knew. So as you release and heal the past, you will experience more love in your present moments. You have to let it go. This time to recenter yourself, it's time to move forward Forgive your parents for what they have done. It's time to forgive yourself for all the stupid mistakes you've made in the past. It's time to forgive others for what they have done. Learn from that experience. Grow, release, and heal the past so that you experience more love in your present moment, okay? And it's only going to happen when you realize that a change definitely needs to happen. And you will get that clarity you know, like I said before, we do have Venus going retrograde at the beginning of the month. So the first week or two of the month will be a bit challenging for each and that. Oh, my God. I just got tongue twisted. <laughs> so for each and every last one of us, that energy is going to play out differently. 
By October 9th, we will be having a new moon in Libra. So I'm super excited about that new moon in Libra because it's going to help us to deal with situations more logical, in a more logical way, and not to rely so much on our emotions. So I really, really love the Libra new moon. But also, we were maybe feeling a bit flashy, ready to go shopping, ready to spend a whole lot of money that we don't may not even have. And so this is definitely asking you to have balance, balancing your budget, balancing your finances, you know, balancing your emotions, being more reasonable, You know, if your spouse is saying, honey, we shouldn't buy that couch for $500, you may want to take that into consideration. Or if you feel like your spouse is the one that is just blowing away money just because they know that you have money, you know, you may want to put a stop to that immediately because this is not the season to be impulsive. This is the season to be reasonable, to think outside the box, to be logical, okay? So you want to take time to review any contracts before signing it. Even if you're getting married, I don't care. Make sure you read everything. Don't just be impulsive and just rush to sign that dotted line. Make sure that this is really what you want to do before you do it. If you're thinking about moving in with someone in October, make sure that this is what you really want to do. Don't be so impulsive. If you feel like you want to break up with someone, please take your time making this decision. Wait until after the new moon in Libra and you will have a lot more clarity, my love. At the end of the month, we will have that Taurus full moon. We will be feeling a lot more better, okay? We will return back to love. Love will be better, okay? We won't have to argue or to try to prove ourselves, okay? So let's look at your overall energy for the month of October. Now, this may be about your career, any questions you may have, any concerns you may have, um, really just anything that's on your mind. So I would say to you, (sighs) the more you tap into your intuitive energy, my love, the better things will work out for you. You are not yourself and you are not intuitively together. You have to reactivate your seventh chakra, my love. You cannot be afraid to go deeper. Okay? Let's see. And that's what I love about that Venus retrograde in Scorpio because Scorpios are all about the mysteries. Okay? They love mystery. They love solving problems. They love going to the depth of a situation. And so we are all equally being guided in different ways to tap into our intuitive energy. Okay, but this is about being intuitive when it comes to money, being smarter, making better choices, making better decisions, you know, following our gut, you know, not allowing us to be ruled by our emotions, but to be ruled by logic. Venus is the planet of beauty and wealth and love and everything wonderful, right? But going retrograde in Scorpio, this is asking us to reevaluate some things, okay? Reevaluate our choices. Make sure that we're doing the right thing. Are we sure that we want to move out the country? Are we sure that we want to buy that house? Are we sure that we want to sell our house? This is asking us to reevaluate, my love. So let's see your overall energy, your overall advice for the month of October. Thank you so much for showing me, Gemini. Overall advice for the month of October 2018. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, there it is. Yes. And this is not just any corny yes. This is like a firm yes. So whatever your question was or your concern or whatever you were thinking about and wondering, hey, am I doing the right thing? Should I take that job? Should I move out this house? Should I sell that house? Should I have his baby? Should I get married to him? Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. (laughs) <laughs> Jim and I, I gotta go, but I love you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for your overall energy. It was very pleasant and beautiful and straight to the point. But love and money is definitely winning. Like, you are winning when it comes to love and money, my love. And I feel like your energy was just as similar in September. So this is funny, okay? So I love you, Jim and I. Thank you so much. I love you. Please like and share this video. Guys, please check out my chakra brace, um, bracelets if you like. 
Um, I actually create these myself. G1 um, Creations by G1. If you check on my website, g1insights.org, you will see them listed there. Um, they're actually just only like $10 anyway. But if you're not really up for a tarot reading right now and you just want to get a cute little chakra bracelet that can help you balance your energy and your overall emotions, then fine. Inbox me. Let's chat. Let's see where we can go from there. But I do love you. Thank you for taking the time out to watch this video. Peace out. Bye.